Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write python program to print a diamond shape star pattern so guys as you can see this is the diamond shape star pattern over here it is having seven number of stars in the middle row over here and then right at the start we are having 1 2 3 4 5 6 so six number of spaces and then followed by one star character and then we have five number of space characters followed by two star characters and then so on there are seven star characters over here and then we have decreasing number of star characters over here after this pyramid pattern now guys what will be the logic in order to print this diamond shaped star pattern over here so the algorithm for pattern programs it is usually the same it is just the difference between the logic that we implement inside the for loops so each pattern program has two or more than two loops the number of the loop depends on the complexity of pattern or logic the first for loop works for the row and the second for loop works for the column so guys let us check this with the help of the python program how we can draw the diamond shaped star pattern so guys over here what we will do is we will have the rows as the variable name and we will take this as the input from the user so over here we will have the int function and then inside this we will have the input and we will ask the user to enter the number of rows so guys over here user will enter the number of rows that must be present in the diamond shaped star pattern now guys after the user enters the number of rows it will be of the string data type so we have used this int function in order to convert it into the integer data type now guys what we will do is simply we can have the for loop in order to print the diamond shaped star pattern so we will divide it into two parts first of all we will print the pyramid star pattern over here that is this pyramid star pattern and then followed by we will print the second part that is reverse pyramid star pattern so what we have to do is first of all we will have the for loop i in range and then this range it will go from 0 up to rows that is being entered by the user now guys what will be the logic as i have told you first of all we need to print these space characters over here so in this seven star characters we have six space characters over here in the starting line so what we have to do is we have to have the another for loop that is the nested for loop and it goes as j in range and then it will go from 0 up to rows and then minus i minus 1 so guys let's say if the number of rows is 7 so we need to have the six space characters over here initially so that is the reason why we have put rows minus 1 and then with the increase in the i the number of space characters should decrease over here and that is why we have given minus i as well over here now guys after this colon what we have to do is simply we will print the space character so over here double quotes and then space character now we don't want the control flow to go to the next line so we will have the end parameter as well over here and we will have the blank character inside the end parameter now guys after this for loop is executed those many number of times and we have the space characters being printed on the terminal we need to print the star character as well so this time we have to use another for loop j in range and then how many times it will go it will go from 0 up to only one star character needs to be printed at the starting line and in the second line we have two star characters and so on the star characters must increase so basically it is the function of this i variable so basically we need to have i plus 1 this time because initially the i value is 0 so it should go from 0 up to 1 the one will be not considered so only once the control flow will go inside this inner for loop for the very first time so once it goes inside this for loop we will have to print the star character so over here we will have star followed by the space character so that all the star characters are separated by a space character over here and then again guys we don't want the control flow to go to the next line so we will have the end parameter over here once again so we have end and this is the blank character that we are going to use now guys after this once the space characters and the star characters are printed what we have to do is the control flow needs to go to the next line so we simply have to have the print statement over here so guys this is the first part in order to draw the diamond shaped star pattern this outer for loop and the inner two for loops will help us in order to print the pyramid star pattern over here which is the first part that we have completed so let us save this file now and try running this 
code once so over here i'm just running this so enter the number of rows let us say we put the number of rows as five over here and when we press enter as you can see we are getting the pyramid shape star pattern over here and this is the first part that we have completed now guys what we have to do is the reverse of this pyramid star pattern we need to draw in order to complete the diamond shape star pattern so after this print statement we have to come out of this outer for loop and again we are going to have another for loop over here so we have for i in range and this time the range it will go from 0 up to rows minus 1 that's because guys only 4 number of rows we need to draw now so that is why we have to put rows minus 1 this time so we put rows minus 1 over here followed by colon now guys what we have to do is we need to reverse the logic this time that is the logic that was used in order to print the space character previously we need to use it in order to draw the star pattern over there and the logic that we use in order to print the star character we will be using it in order to print the space character so over here i'll simply copy this for loop so i'll just copy this and paste this over here and inside this we need to have the space characters over here so i'll just copy this and paste this over here so what we are doing over here guys is we need to have just one space character in order to print this row of star pattern so over here j will go from 0 up to i plus 1 this time so only one space character will be printed and then guys in order to print the star character what we have to do is i'll have to copy this line of code that is the range that is going from 0 up to rows minus i minus 1 over here so we'll simply provide this line and then over here i'll provide this star character to be printed so i'll just copy this and paste this over here now guys after this again we will be having the print statement so that the control flow goes to the next line so guys what exactly we are doing is the space character needs to be printed only once when we are printing it in the reverse order and then the star characters will be printed four number of times in this particular case that is why we are taking it from zero up to rows minus i minus one and then guys it should decrease with the increase in the number of rows over here so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again we will put the same number of rows that is 5 this time and then when we press enter as you can see we are getting the beautiful diamond pattern over here so as you can see this is the diamond shape star pattern that we were expecting to be printed on the console let me just run this code once again and this time we will provide 10 number of rows so when we press enter as you can see this is a very big diamond shaped star pattern which we were expecting to be printed by using this python program so guys this is the way that we can easily print the diamond shaped star pattern just by using the nested for loops so we have completed this python program just by using the 15 lines of code over here and with any number of rows we can draw a beautiful diamond shaped star pattern in the python program so guys please make sure that you practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is python program to remove punctuations from a string so stay tuned